Hello guys and gals, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be fitting a vamoose awning rail. Right, let's jump to it. So, the measurements are for a long wheelbase van. If you've got a short wheelbase van, they're going to possibly be slightly different. Um, so bear that in mind. So we're going to take a measurement point from this mark here on the van to around this area here somewhere. I've already put a little bit of masking tape on there because I don't particularly want to be drawing on the van. That measurement is 430 mil. So that's the measurement there. That's 430 mil. So that is pretty much going to be the end. So the front end of the actual rail. Right, next bit you're going to do is you're going to want to load the van with some masking tape in order to hold the rail still. There's nothing wrong with using a load of masking tape here. With the front roughly in place, you're going to want to just get some masking tape on this just to hold it in position. Now what you're looking for here along this edge is about five millimeters, a gap of about five mil. If you need to measure it up and use some masking tape to give you a line, there's nothing wrong with that. So you want to get this in position with your tape. Now the tape oh, isn't going to hold it forever. You don't have to work at 100 miles an hour. But ideally, what you don't want to be doing is thinking that that oh, is secure enough. <laughs> Next step is to use the self-tapping screws, if you've got a vamoose kit, the self-tapping screws, starting in the middle to attach it to the van, working your way forward, but don't do the last three holes. There's no need to do these up really tight. This is literally helping you mark out where it's gonna go. You're gonna remove these and replace them with some black screws. So you're gonna start here and you wanna just mark off on the holes where you're gonna to have to drill. Okay, now you've gotta do the same at the back end of the van. So working from the middle where you just screwed in Using the self-tappers, work your way backwards, getting the awning rail to begin to sit flush onto the van. Okay. Once we've done that, we're going to take our pen and we're going to mark out these last three holes on the back of the van. Okay, we've marked it all up. So we've got the three down that end and the three down that end. What we're going to do now is take out all of the self-drilling screws, remove it, drill the holes out for the remaining six holes that need drilling. And then we're going to get some um, sticker flex on the actual back of it, get it mounted in position, get it screwed in and then we'll look at fitting either end. The drill bit we're using uh, is a three mil. Once all your holes are drilled, a little alcohol wipe in the kit. Just want to wipe down the surface. Make sure it's nice and clean. 
What we're going to do now is run a bead of glue down the side that's going to be in contact with the van, um, with the holes, obviously. If you want it about um, eight mil, if you can get it eight mil, just going to run a bead down. Um, the reason behind the eight mil, roughly, is so that you don't get too much overspill, you've got to clean up. Um, but with some alcohol wipes or solvent, um, white spirits and all that, you better wipe it off anyway. So don't panic if you get it everywhere. But obviously, try not to get it everywhere. Now this bit, coming to attach it in a second, on your own, potentially going to be a little bit fiddly. So I'm likely to get glue everywhere. Last little bit down there. I've got two screws ready and my drill. I'm going to pop a screw up the top here somewhere. So that's where I'm going to go with that one. And then I'll probably pop that one in. So I've got those two holes to roughly line up and we'll get those screws in and see what happens. Now it is going to wobble around slightly, so hopefully I can get this screw in pretty quick and not make too much of a mess. So now what we're going to do is working our way that way and working our way that way, we're going to get the remaining screws in. So in the vermouth kit, uh, the front portion of it comes with some tape. Now, I'm not overly sure that this is going to be strong enough. So I'm going to attach it because that's how the kit comes supplied to me. And then what I'm going to do is if I need to, I'll probably end up using some glue for this. I'm going to pop it in there and I'm just going to ease it down to the van following the shape of the bus. First impressions are that it's stuck on. Only time will tell. Right, let's do the last bit on the end. This little bit goes on the end of the rail, just in here. But my concern is that you put the glue on here and then you fit it in. Now, if I show you it going in. So if you put it in here with the glue on the back, you're going to get glue everywhere. So what I'm going to do is probably put a dab of glue on here and then slide that in on top of the glue and then hold it in place for a few seconds. So let's get it in place. I'm just going to slowly drop it in there. Holding it away from the van. Yeah, perfect. So basically I held it away from the van slightly and it's not much glue there. So that is in fact Epic. Right, I'm just literally going to hold this here for a minute or two. I'm not going to carry on filming me holding this here because that'd just be weird. Um, but yeah, I'd just like to say a massive shout out to Vermouth. Um, the awning rail is epic. Um, I've just picked up a Remo um, awning uh, with two sides. Um, because we've got a, a vent shelter, we don't particularly need a awning like a blow up tent awning that fits on the side of the van so we're just going to go for um, a canopy type awning on this one 
Um, but I'll get it out of the box at some stage and I'll put it up and I'll show you guys what it looks like. But for now, massive shout out to Vermoose uh, for their awning rail. It's really good and it's black, so it looks sick on the van. This is Tom, this is T-Dubs. I hope you found this video useful. My thumb's getting tired. I'll catch you guys in the next video.